Really just one goal today, just to get to LV. I think we can do it. Not that far off. Um, I think the thing that was holding us back was this guy, the molds. So, we need more aluminum. Which uh, was what we were working on. Yeah, we need all these. Is our friend still down here? Yep. We were making the gear mold last time. Um, we are going to need more steel too. We're going to need 4, 8, 12, 16 more to be exact. So we got to put at least another 10 iron in there. 12. Raider just give us another stack. Uh, I'm about done beeping this. I'm gonna macerate that so that I get that back. Um, so I can smelt this into nuggets. And I'm pretty sure those nuggets can be compressed, right? They can be. can make an anvil mold for 31. That's actually pretty good. Uh, oh right, I remember I tried to put them in and it didn't work. So for making wrought iron, we can do it, but regular is a no-go. Sorry, gear mold. Do you want a chest for all these? These can be used in the casting table. Can these be used for casting? They can. So we'll put all the these types of molds in here, just so they're easier to identify which ones are which. I guess. Let's go check on this and see if we got any more. Nope. Did I lose all my... Oh... Oh... Well, that's good to know. I should've... Oh! Oh, hello! 
You're right. I shouldn't have blocked you out. It was a bad decision on my part. It was rude. I'm sorry. You are my roommate. Yeah, I don't think I can get more. As of right now. That's a shame. That's an oops. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with that stuff. Um, I need two anvils. Could make an anvil mold. That would be good. Let's check the upstairs aluminum. More berries. Twelve more. Oops. Oh, hello. Uh, thank you, whoever just raided. Um, obviously, that's unexpected to get someone to actually raid me. Thank you. Um, I just saw that. So, I guess to to all the people that are there, hello, welcome. Um, to my little, uh, still in Steam Age, about to be at LV. I'm waiting on molds, which I just need aluminum for. So, we're t slowly working towards that. But, um, but yeah, um, I don't really know. I wasn't expecting people. Usually it's pretty quiet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we got all this up here and then down here right now we've got our little setup. We got a, a homie down here. He's been chilling for a little while. We, we kind of just let him stay. Oh, thank you, Diddy. Uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I, I mean, I wanted to do a uh, uh, hardcore um, Greg Tech for a little bit now, and I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. So I, I appreciate the raid. We have enough for another one, but I'm gonna wait until he moves at least slightly so I don't stare at him. Okay. Um how much do we got? Enough for one more mold, so we can do that. Um I'm wondering if I should make the forge hammer so I don't have to worry about Crushing all these constantly because it is getting kind of annoying. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I can make the anvil mold now. <sighs> okay. Um, I I keep like. I, I know it's a creeper, but I know he won't attack me uh, unless I, I, I don't even know if staring at him will make him attack me. Um, but it just stresses me out having him around because it's like, I'm not going to fight him. I feel like I would definitely end up doing something worse if I did. 
but I don't know how to get rid of them. Uh, yeah, this isn't one of those, but that's fine. I'm wanting a, a forge hammer, and this will just speed things up. Okay, so we need uh, about a stack of iron. Uh, right now we have 20. We can take 12 from that. Take one from there. Is there any other iron in here? Yeah, that might be probably right. If I can type. Um, yep, we got enough. Alright, so between all that we should hopefully have enough iron for this. Uh, there we go. One, two. <sighs> Fair enough. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you again for rating, by the way. I, I do really appreciate it. Oh, shoot. I completely lost track of what time it was for the in-game. Usually I'm pretty good about keeping track of that. I just completely forgot. Oops. Hopefully nothing spawned outside. Otherwise... I think we're good. I think I still caught it in time. Yeah, I've been trying to keep track of time so that I don't um, let stuff spawn at night. I went to the nether a few times already. Um, got that out of the way, which is pretty good. But um trying to avoid going back there, even though I can get more resources from the nether ores. It just stresses me out too much with the pigmen. Uh, let's see. Got that. I haven't eaten one of these yet. Also trying to raise the hearts as much as possible because more hearts means I probably have less chance of dying, which is good. Uh, let's see how much we got. Eat from that. Seven from that. That's not enough yet. Okay. That's fine. Uh, this is not macerating. Uh, oh. I'm not generating any steam. That, that would be why. Whoops. That would make sense. Oops. There we go. Alright. Uh, what, what can we do while we wait? Uh, got that. I guess we can just prep. Oh, that's not a sound I like to hear. Um, what's stalled? Is stalled. That makes sense. Um, that's going to just be the case until they get more uh, steam going again. Fill up uh, more water. For this one. This one takes so much more water. I left a bucket in one of the furnaces too, so I got to grab that. Uh, where I, I guess I left the bucket upstairs. I like this mod pack. Honestly, it's nice having something that goes slow and it just kind of leads to chill uh, stuff like this. Plus, it's nice with... Oh, I forgot to patch that back up when I filled the sink. Um, plus, it's nice to just be able to, like, kind of always have some further goal. And it's nice, cause, too, because obviously I could die at any point. I'm very fragile. So, you know, it makes everything feel worth it. When I get it, I can make cheese. Oh shoot, I can make cheese. I don't know I can make cheese. Uh, let's get this out of here. Let's make some cheese. Uh, yeah, we'll make like ten. Probably use this to cook other things, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, dairy. Uh, I guess I can. P I don't really have a spot for dairy yet, but that's fine. Um. Let me grab my milk bucket that I put in the furnace. Go. Yeah, there's um, probably some smaller things I'm going to try and do eventually. Uh, where is he? Is he still around? Yeah, he's still here. Still 
It's gonna take a while to generate some heat. Okay. We got some time still. Seven from that, ten from that. That's enough. Um, we'll just actually, so I don't have to keep hearing the stalling noise, we'll unplug them for now. Okay, what else can I do while we wait? Um, these aren't ready? Yeah. I guess, what do I, what else could I complete? Oh, we wait. I'm waiting on the anvil one. Can't do books right now. We could mine some more diamonds and graphite. How much graphite do I have so that I can finish this? Um, I guess I could work towards the hunger axe. I was going to put it off for now just because I, I didn't want to... Um, I wasn't sure exactly um, where I would get everything for the hunger axe yet. Obviously, I do have the kitchen and stuff, so I can make plenty of these. But, um... Actually, you know what? We can bookmark it, because I can bookmark the bottom foods, since I'll probably end up making them anyways. So that's some foods I can make. Rainbow curry is worst. Um, oh, you need, like, the flowers to do that. Okay. That, yeah, with hardcore, I don't really have bone meal, so I can't get some of those pretty easily, too. I do have an easy way to get around with um, the slime sling, at the very least. So I guess we can run around and do do that while we wait, so we can find. I would have an easier time, need coconut for rice. I actually do have, um, I did find a coconut tree somewhere, so I have somewhere. Oh, did I? I think I accidentally used it. There's a coconut tree um, that I can go to actually right now while we have a minute. I know where it is. It's close by. Um, so we can make a coconut tree for that. That'd be pretty good. I was originally thinking this would be great because this wasn't all ice originally when I got there. And then turns out it's an ice river, which um, I've never really... Yeah, uh, what does the axe do? Is it um, healing? Is it or like a lifesteal thing? Or is it just like, give me hunger? Uh, saturation. Infinite hunger. Or infinite saturation, probably. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. I, I would love that. Because it'd be, it's a pain not having it. Yeah, so here's the coconut tree. I think I can make a coconut tree off this. Yeah, I need jungle saplings, though. And I haven't found a jungle. I could just purchase those, though, probably. So we can go back and do that. You can also heal mobs with it. It also does huge damage to undead. That'd be pretty nice. It'd be nice to have an actual weapon. Because um, obviously my little stick doesn't do much other than poke things away. And I got this as well to keep stuff away too. Um, so yeah, we can keep working towards that. I'd have to find um, a lot of the Pam's Harvest Craft um, things, I guess. Uh, these guys. So I'm not really sure where to get those from. So that would be the biggest thing. I know when I break these two, usually it'll buy loot bags. So you can buy loot bags for them. Okay. We can go back with this coconut. And I'll buy some jungle saplings too, so we can make a coconut tree for that. Yeah. I originally was planning on just kind of boating around here, um, but I guess not. <laughs> they will spread if placed down, however it's slow. Okay. It's not like I'm in any rush, so uh, we can buy those and... Let them do their thing then. Let's see. Coins. Oh yeah, okay, garden bags. Oh, those are cheap. I I have been you can oh, I did I've always been just left click breaking them, so I actually didn't know that. That's pretty nice. Um yeah, we have plenty, so we can buy some of those. So let's do that. I think that's on a cooldown, so we'll have to just keep some coins and then just buy it off cooldown. So I can just place these, I guess. And they'll grow. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can't pick. That's cool. I'll just leave him for a little bit then. And we'll just buy him. Okay. Um, got a little bit more time. Let's see how I'm doing on Steam. Hopefully it should be running now. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Reach menus on. Uh, oh yeah, and then we wanted jungle saplings, so we want jungle saplings to take some minute. Oh, it's the other one. Oops. I do not have those. Alright, so let's see what I got it. What is something I can complete to get some of those? Um, Multi-block macerator is worth it? Okay. Um, it's this gr steam grinder. Let's see, Tumbaga, Tumbaga rods, Tumbaga ingots, uh, Tumbaga duh. Uh, I have the gold. I don't know what this Timbaga mix is. Gold and copper. Okay, we can do that. It does eight ores in 20s at once. Other, st other stuff is based off the recipe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing that's been kind of slowing me down is just um, waiting on the macerator. So if I can make the multi-block one, and it'll save me some time. I, I This is my first time. I actually... Um, I don't know how, but I, other than the first day where I had to hide in a dirt hole, uh, this is still my first run. Um, so I'm kind of new to the Greg Tech stuff. So a lot of these multi blocks and that kind of stuff, I'm not as familiar with. So I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. But we can do that. I mean, I have um, plenty of tin because I found a, a Mika patch actually uh, right here. But the biggest thing that's been slowing me down is copper, which I have plenty of copper patches, I just haven't been mining it. So like I have all this, I just need to macerate it. Or I guess I could just smelt it, but I can get more. Yeah. Um, so let's see, so to get this steam grinder, we need two diamonds. Uh, I have a diamond patch I can actually run to real quick, so we can check that and see if we can find some more if I dig around. If multi runs out, it will void output, so be careful. You gotta have a buffer. Okay. That's good to know. Um, I will say it's nice that the, uh, the I guess the single block one doesn't. Um, be nice to work towards anyways because I'm going to be waiting a while on enough steel and I really don't feel like getting a second primitive blast furnace because that thing took me multiple hours to get all the stuff. I have plenty of clay at this point. I just don't really want to do it again. But we'll see if we can find some more diamonds, I guess. This was my diamond patch, right? Yeah, we're in a diamond patch. So we'll dig around a little, see what we can find. I need this anyways for the uh, quest completion for that one. So I don't mind mining out a big space in here too. Turn on F7. Yeah, the biggest thing as well is just I, I like I'm sure there's probably a way that I could store steam. I tried making the single block barrel, uh, this guy, but then I realized that it doesn't um, automatically export the steam, the steam back out. The forge hammer, yeah, I I, I was waiting on the iron for that. Um, I think I could probably go back and do that too, but um, 
we can mine for a minute and then when I go back to the base we'll make that forge hammer so that I can m macerate and then also make it into dust more easily. You can make a railcraft tank. Okay. I think that was in the multi-block thing, but I wasn't really sure what it was, so I kind of put off doing it. But I, I can make that too. So I think that's right in uh, here. Multi-block goals. Uh, railcraft tank. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a lot of iron. That's why I didn't do it. It auto pushes from bottom if you output there. The the single block one does. I think I was putting in from the bottom, so that was probably why. No, the railcraft one. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I probably would have made it, but um, actually, I can show you. I have been looking, <laughs> and I have yet to find. Uh, I found a magnetite vein here. It leads to nothing. Um, I've yet to find just a regular iron patch, <laughs> despite all my looking. So the best source of iron I had was when I went to the nether and was mining the, the nether um, pyrite for um, the sulfur for rubber. I really don't know how I got so unlucky with the iron, but it's been such a pain. Like, I'm, I always feel like I'm running out of iron. some blocks because I hear some lava. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that. But yeah, when I'm not stressing about dying in this one, it's usually pretty peaceful. Yep, that's what I was worried about. It's good that there's lava up there. I might be able to grab some of that. We got time still. How many diamonds am I looking at right now? Five. Okay, that's pretty. I would like to get the 32 to finish the uh, the step, but I don't know if there's a better way to do it other than just mining out a big area. So I'll go till the pickaxes about a break, and then we'll leave it for a little bit. Uh, Tinker's hammer. Oh, the three by three one. Yeah, I should make one of those. I think I'll go. Um, I think the thing that was stopping me was just since I need so much aluminum um, brass for the molds, I just didn't bother with the one for the head too. But um, I guess for excavating, that probably saved me some time. At LV, you unlock auto miner. I honestly find the mining parts peaceful, so I don't hate it. But an auto miner would actually probably save a lot of time. So that sounds pretty good. Oh, we missed this one up here. I um, oh. I've seen photos at least of one that looked similar to the quarry. Um, the first uh like modded Minecraft mod pack I really ever got it into was Feed the Beast Rev, and I know that that one had the quarry. Yeah, automatic is automatic. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um, I know that the quarry from that looked pretty similar to something I saw in a photo for this. So if it works, any any somewhat similar way then that'd be pretty nice i know that there's all the oil well patches too which also very much so reminds me of that mod pack because i remember just going for oil constantly in that um i did that one on a server though with friends though so it was like basically uh just a group thing i'll leave it with one because i don't want to break the pickaxe um and then not have to waste a piece of steel on it I need to get more redstone, probably, for the pickaxe, too, to speed that up, because it's still pretty slow. I, I can max that out definitely a lot more. Last time I played, I, I was when I finally got the slime sling, sling and stuff. I got lucky, and I got um, a loot bag that had these slime trees, and that definitely saved me a lot of time. Probably saved me a lot on the rubber front too, but um, being able to have blue slime and um, green slime infinitely without ever having to fight any slimes 
is a very nice feeling. It's a single block machine. It will slowly pipe down under itself and each layer will mine up every ore in the radius. Mine's only ores, leaves the world intact. That's nice. I know the biggest thing with um, the uh, quarry one was that it would literally just leave massive uh, like chunk-sized holes, which um, I didn't mind because I would do all of that in the mining dimension um, because there was no fear of dying there. I, c I could be as stupid as I wanted and... Um, no mobs could spawn and it wouldn't be nighttime. But every more mines are replaced with cobblestone. Oh, that's actually really nice. So it literally just doesn't empty any blocks or make any holes. That makes sense, though. I, I, the big, like, making a massive hole, chunk sized hole, is a little ridiculous. So I get not having that. Um, but, I mean. I always found it funny to see it after it was done and then have to move it like right next to it. Uh, it was satisfying. Obviously in the overworld though, probably not as much, especially because I would do it away from my house then and then that'd be a lot of walking. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, that's good. Do I have any more? No, nope. Uh, we will get more rubber while we're waiting. Almost time. Sleep real quick. Oh yeah, we can uh, load up four. It was 31 per, so we need 62. So I'll make those two anvils. And then I need some bronze. Have you visited Nether? I have. I've run in there a few times. I have another portal over here. Um, in containment between behind two doors uh, because I have no trust in stuff spawning I think actually this is the first time it has rained I actually thought I was somewhere where there would never be rain you can make nether furnace um, I think the reason I didn't make the nether furnace is just because I didn't feel like getting lava uh, for it because I don't have a good path to lava yet in the nether, I kind of just blocked myself in. Um, but let me check how many things of lava that is. Yeah, it's six bricks, which was... I, I guess it's only three lava buckets. Oh, you can use the compressor. That's true. I did not think about that. I probably should have read the other recipes. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, yeah, I think that's actually the first time it's ever rained in game, though, for me. So that's crazy. Uh, okay, so I have a bunch of nether bricks. We can. Uh, oh, there we go. It got double fuel, so one bucket will smelt 64. That's actually really nice. Because I've been used to splitting stacks. Um, so the. Uh, that I can get the full effect. Oh, wait, is it not just. A, I'm stupid. It's not directly, uh, it's extract, uh, alloy smelter with dust. Okay. That's a little different. Ah, uh, that makes sense though. It's never the easy way. <laughs> uh, okay. So we need netherrack dust, which is probably just macerating netherrack, which we can do. I guess actually, you know what? Save me some time. I'll just use, um, I assume a hammer will work, or maybe a um, mortar. Nope. Okay, so we actually do have to macerate it. That's fine. Uh, Smell up some more iron while we have to wait. What are we doing on steel? A little bit more steel. Let's see how we're doing on this aluminum. Still waiting. Honestly, I might start just using some of the aluminum gravel I had. I was saving it because I wasn't sure if I needed it, but I'm just going to macerate it um, real quick to double it. And then um, we'll use that. 
It's the closest upgrade is steam oven. However, without LV machines for better ratio, it needs ungodly amounts of steel. Yeah, I unfortunately don't have anything close to ungodly amounts of steel right now. So we probably have to put off on that, at least for the time being. But we'll get there. We can, we can make all that stuff eventually if we need it. Um, here my axe while I had a second. Oh, I think that's another heart. Uh, there we go. Uh, this is not running. Why is it not running? Does it not work with the steam alloy one? No, it does. Iron, mold, and bone. Oh, that's not it. Uh, I do not know why that's not working. Also, pr compressing coal coke into a black attic. It's one free coal, so you get ten. It will make ten ingots out of nine coal, however it takes a while to process the recipe. Yeah, I mean, my compressor doesn't really see a lot of use, so I guess I can do that. Um, honestly, the biggest thing is just, I'm always so filled up on um, oil that I don't have that much cold coke. I've just been using it for the steel. But I mean, if I can use that to make steel, that'd be pretty good. Steel. There's so many. Uh, where's regular steel? Here we go. Uh, primitive blast furnace. You can do... Oh, I see. So you can... Do 10 and 2 blocks of... Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, yeah. Let's do that then. Probably save me some time. Normal time, so doing 10 is 10 times that, but you save on cold coke. Yeah, that makes sense. So we can do that then. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, we'll macerate this aluminum real quick. Uh, we can go get, I guess, some more lava. We'll take this with me. Or should I just make... Uh, I don't feel like making another one. Go get some more lava. Yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of things that would make things faster that I just don't know about. Um, just because I'm experiencing the mod pack for the first time. But, um... Oh, we got some snow because of that. That's fun. But yeah. I just compress... No, I'm saying for just in general. Um, not for the netherrack, for the Tinker's Forge. Because um, I'm going to need to smelt down a bunch of aluminum, which I'm doing. And I get the feeling that a thousand lava isn't going to be enough to make the rest of the molds. So I just want to get it out of the way now while I have a second. I am going to compress the nether rack once I, once I get that in a second. I was just going to uh, macerate that, um, what do you call it, the aluminum first, just so I had some to work with. Was it not? I swear it was... Oh, yeah, it's over here. Here we go. Place that there. Yes. Oop, that's bad. I almost started burning myself. This is where I've been coming for just lava for now, just because it's safer than me trying to get there in the nether. All right. I can't take one more bucket because... It won't fill up, and I don't know a way to empty it. And fine. 3,000 should be enough for the rest of the molds, hopefully. I by no means... If you get a backpack, it won't burn in the backpack. Uh, I actually have been thinking about making one, so I should do that. Because uh, that's probably going to save me a lot of time then. I was wondering that, because I was wondering if there's like an insulated, um, what do you call it, insulated bucket or something, but if it just in the backpack is fine, then that works too. I'll take that. So that's another 
thing that I should do. I have all the cotton and stuff for it. I just forgot about it and was putting it off. But we can do that. All right, so that's good. That's 12 aluminum. We'll macerate that. I uh, probably have some netherrack dust. I have 12. Um, we're going to need more so we can wait on that. Buy another garden bag. It was your first time kind of masochistic to do it in the hardcore. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I totally agree with you. Um, I feel like it is much more fun this way, though, because um, I know that I'm not going to make it anywhere close to the end of the mod pack, and I think that mentality helps me not feel like... Like, I'm in no rush to get through it then because of it, and I can kind of chill. Don't put... It will make them grow slower. Okay. Put this all the way over here. But yeah, I feel like it just kind of adds to my enjoyment of it at the very least. Because I played uh, E2E actually uh, before this, um, and then I kind of got an itch again to play. But um, when I was playing E2E, I did that hardcore, um, and that was pretty fun. And I figured why not just stick with it then. and try and do this hardcore because I feel like it made me play a lot more efficient what's up Venma or yeah I think that might be how, how to pronounce it sorry if I butchered that But yeah, I don't know. I, I have a little... I, maybe I am very masochistic for playing hardcore, but I enjoy it. I think it's fun. I assume the nether gardens probably need nether rock, so let's grab some more of that. And we'll just make uh, a spot for it over here, I guess. Yeah, no, that's fair. I definitely agree with you. I mean, I know that this is like multiple thousands of hours to complete. Um, like I said, I'm not really in it for completion. I'm in it just to kind of chill and see how far I can get without dying. And then um, if I die and I'm like um, far enough along where I feel like I've learned a lot, I'll probably play it again not in hardcore. But for a first run through, just to kind of see how far I'll get, I, I don't mind giving hardcore a shot. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably end up eating those words later and be like, damn, I'm wasting hundreds of hours. But honestly, at the same time, I'm here to waste hundreds of hours on a, a silly Minecraft mod pack. So why not? Uh, I, should I build a second? netherrock area for another one of these gardens or you think putting two of them close to each other like this is fine oh shoot it's night time I gotta sleep can do it like that okay there we go we'll leave that there like that for now uh how's the netherrock looking we probably have enough at this point 10 22 we need 8, 16, 24. So we need two more. Okay, we can wait. The desert one probably needs sand, so we can grab some sand real quick. Put that up by the water. Yeah, that's fair. I kind of like the idea um, of potentially doing multiple runs and because, like, I'm sure each run will have me, you know, going a little bit faster than the last. So, I feel like it'll definitely be a good way to learn and then be able to adjust for the next run or something. So, I don't mind. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I played hardcore for my E2E, uh, like mm -hmm. I was saying before, and that was pretty fun. Um up until the end when I had to fight the Chaos Dragon and I realized I have never fought the Chaos Dragon before and I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so that was fun to puzzle solve how to do that. 
but um, I actually did figure it out. I, I was able to beat it. Um, last stand and like 500 levels of XP. Uh, save that. Uh, if you ever find Dezel ma Marshmallow, don't eat it. Keep it for later. Okay. But yeah, last stand obviously carried me through that fight. I don't think that that's in this because that's a cyclic thing. Yeah, it's not. So we'll make, uh, how do I turn this into, I need, okay, so that's perfect timing for another mold. Uh, so we need four steel to go in there. We need to make the ingot mold then. Um, I still don't know why this isn't making the anvils, but we'll figure that out. It does exist. Is it called something else? I assume it's just called something else then. It won't show up in NAI books or hidden. Oh, okay, that's fair. I think requires blocks of iron to make the anvil. Um, I can compress it then. It says here the alloy smelter that it's 31 just regular ingots, but I guess not. I don't know. But, I mean, we have the iron, so we can just compress it and make it the normal way, too. That's fine. Ten blocks of iron. Compressor is nine. That's a lot more. Buffs you get are, like, resistance level five, which means 100% reduction. It's MV. That's at MV. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, resistance level five would be pretty nice. Um... Obviously, I'm sure that's a very specific thing. Uh, right, I need to... I have the aluminum. I'll crush this real quick. I need another hammer. That's fine. We can do that. Okay. Um, and then... I think I have to purify the aluminum to get um, aluminum dust, yeah, and then I can smelt that in the tinker smelter. Oop, more water. Purify that, and there we go. All right, so that's a lot faster now. We can make a lot more uh, molds that way. We don't have to be sitting here waiting, and you guys. Don't have to watch me do random nonsense while I wait for stupid aluminum ore berries, basically as nuggets. Um, uh, Cause like I hate that these are only one nugget each. They t they're so slow, but I I also get why. I mean, uh, mystical agriculture is so busted, and so anything similar to that, like I've never really used the ore berry stuff. Obviously, this came before that probably, but. Um, being able to just grow ingots is always ridiculous. Okay, so we need four iron plates, four iron screws, so let's do that. We'll keep this mold to the side then for now, because that's useless, I guess. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fair. I meant it more for like some of the more hard to get resources, because um, by the end of, uh, at least when I played E2E, at the, by the end of that, I basically was crutching on mystical agriculture for certain mod pack ingots, just because I did not want to interact with uh, getting certain stuff. Um, but it's probably a lot less efficient than actually doing it. All right, compressor, we got that. Put that in there. We gotta compress the iron. I'm gonna need more iron too, probably. Um, we have enough netherrock now, so we can put this iron. We can put more iron through. Place that in there. Um, okay. Uh, oh right, 
that's for this. Take that out, put that in. Yeah, I'm gonna need more iron for that too then. That's fine. Uh right, right, we're doing that. Um uh, go on here. Netherrack dust we're waiting on. Yeah, it's that one ingot, yep. So we need the ingot mold but from this one. Garden clutch thing was very broken with those plop, uh, crops, but they had very bad scaling. Yeah, I literally made a compact machine that um, only had garden clutches in it and um, exclusively used that for almost all my ingots by the end game because I just could not be asked and it was also lagging my game like crazy. I mean, basically not having to basically having to make one and then have infinite use out of it was pretty good um and literally there was no cost uh but yeah i mean obviously by the time you get to the end game and you have like the awakened draconium and the other level six ones making multiple of those was a pain but still pretty good overall Combining essences in auto crafter is ungodly slow. Yeah. Eventually you end up making Eye of Harmony. Eye of Harmony. Uh, creates a pocket of space time. Oh, I see. So this is like, um, kind of like a compact machine then, I guess. I swear, some of these descriptions... Yeah, Z to C next page. This is crazy. Check recipes in it. Um, oh, Lord. Well, uh, immediately, that... I, I looked at that for half a second, and oh, my God. That is crazy. Um, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at yet. Oh, you need an Iron Singularity. That's fun. I imagine that'll be a lot easier. Click U on it. Oh. You can use it to um, just grind. Oh, it just gives you ores. Like, it's just a big ore generator. Or, or it generates into all of this. Like, you, does, you like make one and it gives you all of this in return. Also, all of this is insane. I don't even know what I'm looking at at that. It's Pocket Universe. Okay. So it makes, like, a second version of, like, the overworld or something if I use like the overworld one honestly taking one look at that kind of is also like reassuring to me as to why I'm playing this on hardcore because it's like sure that exists in the game and I could get it but I'm not worried about it. You pump in helium and hydrogen an insane amount of power and it makes resources and posi power positive at latest tier. Oh, so like, that's, okay, wow. That's crazy. Oh, we got a blood moon. All right, that's fine. I torched up the area around. Last time I just kind of chilled in my base when this happened. I was going to actually... Um, while we're chilling down here, because we got a little while while we wait for it to roll over, I was going to make a ladder down. We can just put it like here, I guess. Um, just further down in case something spawns, so I'm further away from it. Blood Moon is okay. I'm just worried about mob spawns, because like one bad infernal spawn obviously can be um, ba very bad for me, and I'm not really sure. Um, I torched up the area around my base, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I just want to have like a fail safe, like I can go down here. I have a path on one side where I can just, uh, what do you call it, walk away if stuff spawns, but yeah. We'll block that up. 
And we'll put cobblestone there. Dimensionally transcendent plasma forge. Plasma forge. Dimensionally transcendent plasma forge. Research station assembly. I'm looking at this stuff. This what the heck is this? One look at these multi blocks, and I'm like, what in the world am I looking at? Oh my god, what the heck? Yeah, these multi blocks are insane. Uh, like, as someone who doesn't really know much about what they're getting into, I see stuff like that, and I'm so reassured as to, yeah, I will continue to not know what the heck is happening. Endgame is special, yeah. I'm sure it is. I mean, I imagine that there's a reason why people say that this pack takes so long, and that nothing compared to some kind of twist space custom multi-blocks, though. A real, like, the Stargate is supposed to be, like, the last thing, right? I don't know if there's a multi-block thing for that. It's also only mod pack where you will see numbers and billions for items. Not in regular Greg Tech, though. Oh, okay, okay. Different stuff. Um, oh, I need to take that out. Twist space is Chinese mod for Greg Tech. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there are a lot more mod packs out there that I don't know about. I kind of like, I kind of just find them as I go, and then I'm like, oh, uh, I'll try this one, and just kind of see what happens. Uh, three ingots would actually, I think, be one. I think it's one to three. That's gonna take a little while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was looking around online, and everywhere that I looked, um, even on like stuff when I was checking online for things, for E2E and whatnot, where I was like looking up certain things um, for help, I would see just Greg Tech stuff posted everywhere, or people just literally typing Greg. Um, and so I looked at it more, and I was like, you know, if I'm gonna waste my time on a mod pack again, I might as well waste my time on one that I know I'm not gonna finish. Also, those bookmarks, if you don't know, Control shift a will bookmark entire recipe if you click it on the output of an item recipe. So Control shift a Oh, I just got rid of those two. Open recipe, okay. Control shift. Control shift. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Actually, speaking of, let's make the, the leather. Um, oh, the cotton's upstairs, and I'm not going upstairs till the blood moon ends. Actually, so never mind. <laughs> um, we'll compress the nether brick. Oh, wait. And click on 101 thing at the top. Uh, oh, click on this. The, it will rearrange them. Um, 101, 20. Oh! Oh, it makes it vertical. I see. I see what you mean. Oh, that's nice. So it, like, will show you the recipe and all the things that it costs to make them. That's so much better, actually. I should start doing that. So, like, if I go here, Control Shift, uh, Control Shift A. Yeah, okay. Let me start doing that then, because that's probably a lot better of a way to um, plan out my recipes than clicking on them every time. That's pretty nice though. Like for some of them, it's whatever. Like obviously, I have the juicer here just because I like the cooking stuff. Now you have a bookmark recipe. Control script sc scroll wheel on output will will scale up recipe. Control shift. 
scoreboard. Oh, I see. So it'll tell you, like, if I want to make 10 of these, how many of each I need. Okay, so I don't have to do math. That's nice. <laughs> I end up doing more than I'd like sometimes for certain items, so that's a nice touch. You can do math in chat, really? 3 plus 3. Oh. Nope. Does it have to be equal sign 3 plus 3? Yeah. Oh. Unless I messed it up. 3 plus 3. It's basically 2. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> I'm so used to... Actually, it's funny. Um... I was doing stuff for a class earlier and I had to use Excel. So, same exact thing right there of having to use equal sign. So that's why it was the first thing that popped into my head. I just wasn't ready for the space bar uh, spot. That's really nice though. I, there are so many times where I open up my phone and I'm like, what the heck am I, what am I doing? What do I need? Another 18. That's nice though. I always I always like when there's stuff like that. It saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of headache too. Uh, let's make some more rounds while we're at it. We'll use the another furnace for this one, because that should be ready in a second here. This one. Oh, I have lots of Bookmark look better with smaller UI size. Uh, is there a way to change it just for the bookmarks? Or will it change the rest of my UI too? Okay, so if I go here. Oh, not small. We do normal. That might be a little too small for me still. Not this? Is it something else? Different you, I think. There we go. That should complete that quest. This down. Uh, put it down here. But with large, it makes them easier to see and manage versus auto. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not too bad. I can live with that. It's going to take my brain a little bit of an adjustment to just to look at. Uh, because I'm literally only used to the auto setting, uh, but I don't hate it. It's nice to see more recipes too. Alright, I think we're good. We made it. Oh, it makes the, uh, uh, this a little zoomed out too. That's interesting. That's actually a lot nicer to read. Since some recipes might be longer, it won't wrap the line on them. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we got three more molds that we can make. Uh, we can unbookmark the ingot one. Cool. Uh, block is that. That's the block one done. Uh, casing is that. Yeah, we already got gear. Nuggets is that. I think I'm still missing one, but. Oh no, those are the last three. Actually, do we have enough steel then? We do not. Uh, unfortunate. We're going to be waiting on that steel to finish. That's okay. Newest version of NEI also have things from modern NEI where it shows the last 20 checked items at bottom right. Um, 
Am I blind? I'm probably just blinding this. Toggle visibility. You don't have it. Oh, oh, it's 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 something else. Okay, I see. All right, well we can make this forge hammer now. So let's do that. Just gonna make the anvils. Need to get latest from GitHub or wait for 2.6 release. Um, okay. Get one block of iron back. Figures that that doesn't work. For I'll hold off on getting the NEI version thing for now, but I'll definitely look into that uh, at some point, probably. Just because I look at things a lot and then immediately close out of them and go, now I have to look for it again. Um, it's this chest. Yeah, there we go. So that'd be nice to have. Okay. Um, that's the steel melted, so we can make that. And then we're just waiting on this to finish, which is obviously going to be a little while. Okay. Um, steam Forge is anvil, bronze hole, six, and a piston. That's probably why it gave me the piston. Okay. One of those, one of those. And actually perfect that we we're making all this bronze. Bronze hull is plates, right, I think? Actually, we need the rest of this. You can also type in number in the bottom right and then drag from NEI bookmarks and it will bookmark with that number of items. So if I type like 64 and then say it's this backpack. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure the stack thing will help later uh, when it's like, oh, I need X of this item um, for like this task right now obviously i'm not going to use it as much but i'm sure somewhere down the line it'll get a lot more use out of me all right before i go up i'm going to run down this hallway real quick just so i can despawn anything that might be upstairs from the nighttime because i ain't looking to wander my myself outside immediately get hit by uh, infernal mob or something if there is one control shift a inside quest book it will bookmark items in amount asked for okay i i just realized the other day that i could hit a on bookmarks to um or i could hit a in the quest book to bookmark stuff so control shift a is probably also going to be pretty helpful for that which will be good there's so much stuff i just don't know cuz either like I would have to probably Google it, and it would take until I go, man, this is annoying. Let me Google it and see if it's online. Or um, probably something in the quest book that says it that I just didn't read. Um, but, oh well. You can't Google it? All right, let's make sure there's nothing lurking around here that's trying to kill me. I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Most things are Greg Tech only features. That's fair. There was um at least I remember um when I looked it up there was um at least a beginner wiki thing that I was reading a little bit of at first. But I'm sure there's so much in this pack that it's not like I'm going to be able to find all of it. So let me grab the cotton actually from up here so we can make the backpack. Grab that, grab the string. Okay, so to make the backpack, we need five tanned leather. Um, so we need 20 string, 20 leather, and then five of these guys. Oop, I just... Wiki is decent. It's a lot of reading, but I mean, I don't mind that. It's, that doesn't bother me. Uh, we need 20 f more string. Okay. And then, see, I'm used to, instead of the question mark, I'm used to it being the plus, and I'll just shift 
Oh, speak and it'll do it. Um, <laughs> I was just about to say I'm used to shift left clicking and having it full stack the recipes in there, but um, I guess it does do that. <laughs> See the P in uh, down left corner. Uh, yes, pull all bookmark items from storage to inventory. Oh, okay. So like if I have stuff in here, I can pull it, um, I guess, to here. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, that's actually really nice. I realize what that means now. Took me a second. I read that wrong. You can pull from any, oh, any chest. Like, just in the vicinity? So, like, I wouldn't have to walk to that chest upstairs and get the cotton, or walk to the chest. need to have it open. Oh, okay. So, if I have the chest open, and I click P, it'll pull the items, instead of me having to go hover over them. That's nice. That makes more sense. I was about to say, if it pulls from the nearby chest, that's crazy. this ready again okay let's make that forge uh, hammer then so we can get that going Do I need, I do need more foods. Make some more foods as well real quick. Um, I haven't eaten a piece of cheese yet, so we'll grab that. Uh, that'll be one, and then I need two more. Uh, boiled egg, and we'll do the cheese slices. Just do one, and then we'll put the other three back in here. Pop, pop. Oh, actually, let me check the chicken that I have out here. And see if it has any eggs or if it's just feathers. Three eggs. I think that was one more right there. Yep. There's also a find it keybind which highlights items in your right chest. I don't know the keybind off memory though. That's fair. I usually try to keep my chest somewhat organized. No more. No chicken. That's okay. So usually I know where stuff is. I got pretty spoiled um, with the end of E2E when I didn't have to do that anymore and everything was just like in my AE system and I had the um, bauble that let me craft from the AE system from anywhere. But um, obviously that was very late into that. So um, Steam Forge Hammer. We need bronze plates. Two, three, four, five, six. Hammer. Why no hollow glasses? Um, I have them on. I just turn them off. Um, just because like when I look at the chests, I know what's in them usually. And so I just didn't really like the UI for the uh, hollow glasses. When, like I can turn it on real quick. Let me see what the keybind is. Uh, controls, hollow glasses, numpad five. Yeah, so I had it on, but it's like, I just don't use it because it's like, I know what's in that chest already. And if I need it, um, wow, raining twice back to back is crazy. Literally, if you search item in any eye, then double click on search bar. Hollow items will filter items you're looking for. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay. I've been using the double click on search bar and then I just open the chest and look for it. So like if I go like iron and then I double click, I've just been doing this and then I'll open it. But I guess if you numpad, uh, numpad five, it'll only show the iron in that chest. That's pretty nice. Okay. I didn't know it did that. So, oops. That's also pretty nice to know. Um, let's see, what do I have that I need to get more of? We'll crush this copper. Here for now. 
end up crushing more iron in a minute. All right, I keep getting distracted. I need to make this stupid forge hammer before I get distracted again. I, I keep like going, oh, something else. Let me do something else. Yeah, a lot of things you need to figure out. Late game is similar. You either know how something works or you need to ask someone. That's fair. Late game with a lot of mod packs, I'm very used to um, using Google to just kind of crutch on. Um, so obviously if a lot of stuff isn't online, then that's going to end up probably biting me in the ass later. But... Definitely a lot that I'm sure I will learn as I play and be like, how did I not think about using this before now? Am I... Did I do this wrong? Oh, it's a hammer. Ah. Okay. That. That. Oh, wait, I just did that wrong. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. I... Of course I missed. Worst aim on planet Earth. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, awesome. That is going to save us a lot of time crushing all this stuff. Oh, look at that. That is so much better than putting it back through the macerator. Oh my god. I would, lo I would also avoid doing a lot of thumb crafts since warp can spawn some funny things on you if you have a lot of it. Yeah, so actually, talking on that, I saved thumb craft until the very very end of my e2e um until i needed to make an ultimate ingot and i realized i needed thaumium and oh my god doing those multiple hours of thaumcraft was the most stressed i had ever been in the mod pack because i knew if i got warp it was over for me <laughs> so never having done thaumcraft before and trying to figure out how to do an infusion um altar for the causality collapser and also spawning those rifts stressed me out like you would not believe Oh, that's bad. I'm in the cow pit now. I did not like what I just saw. The particle effects on that immediately. <laughs> I probably should have jumped more than that, honestly. I don't think E2E even have warp. It does, actually. Um, I think E2E is uh, Thumbcraft 6. Um... It did definitely have warp though. I know it did because I could check it with the meter. And when I looked it up, it definitely had the effects listed. And um, I got a few of like the, disbu the debuffs from it as well. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it had warp. Not the same as warp in Thomcraft 4. Is it worse in Thomcraft 4? I assume it is then. Look at that, 64 just like that. That's awesome. That's so much time saved. But yeah, warp in general just stresses me out. So I probably won't be touching Thumbcraft. And if I do, it won't be for a very long time. Like, I will put it off until I am forced to. But... I need three more woven cloth. Let me do that. Check wiki for mod pack. It lists all the effects of warp at each level. We can do that real quick. Let me look at that. I'm kind of curious. Uh, I think I can set this up so you guys can see it too while I read through it. Let's see. Uh, window capture. And then Chrome tab. There you go. So that should switch it to the Chrome tab, I, I hope. Uh, we'll see. At 200, it can spawn a wither on you. Um, GTNH uh, warp effects. Let's see this. Thumbcraft tips. Um, Control F warp. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, let's see. So we start with... Random messages, sorry for the, the flashbang with the, the white chrome page too, in case anyone is watching this and just got that. I, I feel bad, I didn't think about that. Um, 
coin player gets thomcraft coin pumpkin spawn phantoms uh ghost mobs lay eggs fake fake creeper is awful um bats fake noises fake enderman blood friendly creeper viz drain insomnia fire bats livestock rain spawn doppelganger would probably stress me out if i was playing this and i had no idea wither potion sounds awful angry enderman sounds awful um fake wither is crazy uh that would probably stress me out inventory swap obsidian spawn a block of obsidian suffocating them that's awful if you hit doppelganger it reflects damage into you oh that's awful randomly teleports you acceleration spawn wither that just spawns an actual wither oh my god countdown bomb player gets a countdown once it eats zero a real trigger creeper explosion triggers that's crazy okay that's crazy some of those are wild effects to just have like <laughs> i would never i would literally have to just pack up the run if that happened that's crazy yeah no we're not doing thumbcraft <laughs> at least not for until i feel like potentially throwing a run that's insane. That would definitely stress me out a lot. N to not scare you off reaching 200 is harder than you think. That's fair. I'm sure it is. Um, I probably wouldn't know what I'm doing. Because I've never really played too much of Thumbcraft 4. And so I'm sure I would get at least some of the ways along there. Even if it's not intentional. 50-ish warp can strong Eldritch Guardians, which are all Infernals. Yeah, okay, that would probably kill me. <laughs> so. Just the Infernal stuff in general stresses me out, because it's like, I know some of those can literally just be a death sentence. Like, if I get one that has Choke or something, and it's not in my line of sight in the Nether, I I, but I'm mining, I'm sure that would probably be awful it says whatever research has worked or not okay I know in Thomcraft 6 at least um, there was more stuff that could cause warp than just the things that you could research so that was a big part of it as well because um, uh, at least when I was doing the infusion altar stuff um, I know that that I had a infusion altar that was non-functional and um, that was just a constant increase in warp uh, and I had no idea at first so that was fun to find out. But yeah, the warp effect in general uh, on a hardcore just sounds like something that's going to cause me infinite stress while I'm playing. Just because it's always going to be in the back of my mind. Like, if I had warp right now, or like knew I had warp, it would be... Yeah, that's fair. I've heard that a lot too. I think a lot of my hatred towards Thomcraft comes from the fact that I've only experienced Thomcraft 6. Um, I'm sure I've heard that Thomcraft 4 is... Not, uh, is finished unlike Thomcraft 6 which is unfinished so that probably affects a lot of my bias um, I hated Psy more I actually like Psy but I think that's also just because like I, Psy made more sense to me Botania yeah I think as someone who took until they got way too impatient waiting for Endoflames to fill up my mana pool and automated um, the whatever the ones that run off of TNT. Um, yeah, I, I see the uh, hatred for uh, Botania. Honestly, um, what was it? There was one more magic mod. Uh, Blood Magic? I know that one's in this, I think. Yeah. This one, the only thing was I never had a way to automate it because I didn't feel like making a way to generate blood for the... Um, for the altar, it's different in 1.7. Yeah, whatever. Um, 
some of this stuff definitely does look a little different. I'm not going to be able to tell too much at first glance, but I'm sure some, I'm sure, obviously, I know a lot of mods were revamped in between the two, obviously, because, you know, 1.12 and 1.7 are two very different um, versions of Minecraft in terms of mod pack stuff. So I get that. We're out of water in that one, and we need a few more pieces of cold cook in that. Uh, I should compress the rest of this, actually. Let's do that. Let's fill this up with some more water. Oh my god! Well, there you go. Um, that's a shame. I did not know that they could do that. And that's the end of the run. Uh, it's so tragic. Well, <laughs> Astral Sorcery was fun. Um, I did not know that they could explode. That's good to know. Uh, oh well. <laughs> oh, that made me jump. <laughs> that has not happened yet. Oh well. So putting water into hot boiler without water will blow it up. Yeah, know that for next time. Come back and now you're out. Yeah, I know, right? I found out that putting water in a hot boiler uh, blows you up. That's a shame. Um, that is very unfortunate. <laughs> That's okay, though. Um, you live and you learn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will. I mean, <laughs> GG's. Well, only one thing to do, but try again, right? I'll start another attempt to get myself to a bed, get myself set up, and then I'll probably uh, be ready to do it again some other time. But that's what we're here for. Did I set it to hardcore? I don't know if I set this to hardcore. That's so funny. I was so casually just like, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah. I've never had it be hot, I guess. I've done that so many times. Quest book also says it, you know, that's what I get for not reading. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, hardcore, I'm playing hardcore because I, uh, A, don't, I guess I don't care for my time. I did not set it to hardcore um yeah so we'll have to save and quit and reset that but um also because i'm not planning on finishing it so a lot of times when stuff like that happens it's like sure i lose progress but you, you know my goal isn't to finish the pack so it's like i'm not too bothered by it but that's funny that did a lot of damage yeah it did <laughs> it killed me that did Almost two full health bars of damage. Oh, that's a shame. Well, <laughs> now I know uh, to be more careful. <laughs> Damn. All right, so right off the bat, we need wool. We need... Um, so we need sheep. We need wood. We need flint, so we need gravel. Um, I think that's what you need for a bed. There is one or two other things. I think you need fences or something. No, you don't need fences. Because, uh, do you? I think you might. We'll see once it generates. But yeah, speed run to a bed, I guess. Attempt to bed. Oh, it keeps all your bookmarks. That's fun. We'll get rid of those. Control Shift A. We need three carpet, three wood, two fence, and a hammer. Uh, and we spawned in a desert. Soft mallet, six wool, and wood. Yep. All right. Straight to it. We need sheep or cotton. Oh, horses this time. That's already something I didn't have at all last time. I had to wait till I got to the nether for glue. We'll look for um, water as well. It's uh, what we're looking for. I want to set up my water still. Damn. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't know it was that easy to just insta-kill myself with my machines. You can make glue out of horses if you put them in a smelter. Yeah, I remember reading that. That I had to wait till I got to the nether to make books last time because I was running, I was gunning for the cooking for blockheads um, one. 
but obviously this time a little different. That's so unfortunate. I can't believe that happened. Oh well. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it makes sense. I, I was expecting that if I was going to die, it would be to something that was my fault more so than, um, than not. What is this? Well, no harm in looking at it, considering I'm here and it's a new run. What's the worst that happens? Oh, that's what darkness will do. Nope, can't go down there. Is dungeon? Don't? Yeah. I immediately realized uh, as soon as I saw the darkness. I'm going to get hungry because I'm sprinting too much. Um... And there's nothing but horses. Well, this is a fun spawn. Um, there's witch witchery circle. Is that what that is? Okay. I'm going to start walking because I don't have uh, anything to eat food-wise. I know the witches aren't... The, at least... When I set up in that house before, the witches weren't hostile to me. So I'm going to assume you're chill, right? Yeah. Um, Holco, crowbar, silver ingot, knowledge note. Damn, there is no water uh, for me to set up by over there. This is not... <laughs> the The spawn on the first one um was a uh what do you call it right next to one of the crimson like setup things i don't know what they're called from thomcraft so i literally had to immediately run away from that speaking of i think that's also thomcraft let me grab this bush yeah yeah that thing except there were the little crimson guys all around it So that was fun to find. <laughs> I completely blinded it until I said it. That's so funny. <laughs> um, hopefully I don't have to put myself in a, a hole for the night, but we'll see. I might have to. This is not looking ideal. Damn. Yeah, really, I mean, that's the charm of hardcore, though, right? You you do one silly little thing, and then suddenly you're right back at the start again. And now I know a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't know before to probably speed this up a lot. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, there's aluminum gravel here. Let me mark that. We'll come back to that. Yeah, I figured. Goblin! You're not angry, right? Yeah, you're chill. All right, so we need some gravel. Problem is I have no sheep or wool of any kind. We have some time though, still. Uh, 
<sighs> oh, cows. We'll leave them for now because I might need them. Take that. Looking for sheep. Got a river. Some clay. Need that. See everything but sheep. Blackberry bush. Chicken. Oh my god. Please. You know what, whatever. Do it that way. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. As soon as you said that, you're right. I forgot they blow up. You're completely right. I completely forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, the, I, I remember that. I completely forgot about that until I started hitting them. The only problem is I am going to need to kill some sheep um, so I can get a bed. So I'm going to have to um, attempt to do this. At least for these guys. Use crowbar. Oh, wow. I did not realize that does damage. Thank you. So that's still need a little bit more, unfortunately. Ideally, very soon here, we'll get some more sheep. We have to start running a little bit. So, please, sheep. It's everything but sheep. I need sheep. I just need three more. There's gotta be some somewhere. I don't know if I'm actually gonna have enough wood. I don't think I actually do. I, I definitely don't actually. Shoot. Oh, there's sheep. We'll have to be quick. We're gonna have to get some more wood as well. Can't run anymore. Hopefully one of you doesn't explode. Just need one more. There we go. That's six. It's three carpet. I need two fences, which unfortunately means I need sticks, which I don't have. Shoot. Um. I'm going to have to kill a pig. Hopefully that's enough to run to a tree before it gets too dark. I should have broke another tree that's on me. I didn't grab enough wood. Oh, it's gonna get dark real quick here. Ah, uh, shoot. I need wood, please. We're going to cut it close. I don't need any, yeah. I'm three wood short. Shoot. And I cannot see anything.
this does not work for wood. Uh, that sucks. I cannot see anything. Where am I? I can't even tell if I'm like... I can't place blocks. Am I outside still? I think I am. I think I might die here. I don't know what down is. Because I can't see anything. Ah, shoot. That's unlucky. Well, I guess we stand here and see what happens. Uh, that's okay. Well, if we make it to daytime, we'll have everything we need. It's three logs short. That's unfortunate. Oh, actually it was more because I needed to make a, a hammer. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's hard to tell with Hardcore Darkness sometimes, but I would assume I would be dead by now if I was outside, so. Wait till daytime. This is what I did last time for the first night. I almost got there this time. I got closer. Uh, it's weird having nothing again. I guess we can look at some of the quest book stuff and kick some stuff out of the way while you wait. Get this food. This will help. I've already read most of this stuff, so I should be okay. Although I guess I didn't read enough, because I had blew up last time, so. <sighs> it's going to be weird having... None of the luxuries of the things I I had, because there was plenty that I had that obviously I'm missing out on now. Oh well. Let's see. So let's see what, if we can plan this out for now. So I'm gonna need. Tinkers stuff, so at Tinkers, so we can get that stuff. We'll just start bookmarking the stuff that we need. Uh, we need a tool station, uh, which means we're going to need tools. Um, to get tools, we'll need flint tools, right? We're going to need flint tools. I don't remember what it's called. We'll just go through the quest book stuff and see what I can remember. I guess. Damn, I was so close to LV. I mean, I had the molds. Yeah, I had to start again. Unfortunately, I did not realize that putting water into a hot boiler would make it go boom. And... um. It blew me up and hit me for all of my hearts. <laughs> so we're back at stage one of just trying to get a bed. Rip. Yep. I mean, that's the nature of playing hardcore, though. Uh, this time, I'll, I have a lot more 
um, kind of knowledge of what I need to get and planning. So hopefully we'll be able to run through it a little quicker this time, but we'll see. I wouldn't be playing hardcore if I didn't expect these things to happen. Obviously, getting a first attempt um, is not something that happens easily. So I'm honestly surprised I made it as far as I did, considering that was my first try. But that's okay. Hopefully now um, I'll be able to make some more of the stuff that I kind of skipped out on because um, I'll actually get iron maybe this time from mining instead of being in a world of no iron uh, vein um, and then I can not be on the verge of no iron all the time but we'll see. We'll see what the veins end up being. Man. I'm realizing now, because like one of the first things I do um, that I always enjoy is the cooking for blockhead stuff, because I just really like getting the kitchen set up. Um, and I had just got that set up pretty recently before that, so obviously I lost all that again. But oh well, we'll be struggling with foods again and just getting them through quest rewards for now. Almost time. This is the one thing that sucks about restarting, is you gotta sit here and watch a black screen for an entire Minecraft night, uh, because I obviously am gonna die otherwise. I'm sure there's plenty more stuff that will kill me as I progress through. Um, hopefully it won't one-shot me as much, and I'll be able to realize some stuff, but if it does, oh well. <sighs> you know, I I, I should have pulled up something else. Uh, I should have pulled up like Minesweeper or something and just done that while I waited. But at this point, it's kind of pointless because I think it's just till like six or seven, so I wouldn't be able to do a Minesweeper run. Oh well. Hopefully not too much more waiting. I did get the raspberry and blueberry bushes this time though, which is pretty nice. Because I didn't have those for the quest that, that needed them last time. We'll unbookmark that. I know how to make a, a soft mallet. I wonder how many hours that was for that previous run. It was probably somewhere around 30 to 50. So, at least it happened. Hey, I mean, could you imagine that happening at, like, 200, not, like, even further? Like, if I had been 500 hours in and I did something stupid like that, then we'd be talking about a different story of um, absolutely devastation. But whatever. It, at least I wasn't as far along. It wasn't as awful. Probably closing in on daytime. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna send it. I did not see anything when I poked it open. Give it a little bit longer. <sighs> Still nothing? Really? Am I crazy? Where am I? That I still can't see anything. I feel like it would be daytime by now.
Oh wow, how far down did I dig? <laughs> what the heck happened? <laughs> Never plug higher voltage to your cable into lower voltage to your machinery. Yeah, I, I assume in terms of realism, um get down from there. Um I probably that makes sense. I do um work with electronics for stuff. Um, my major uh, is mechanical engineering. So um, obviously that didn't help with the boiler. So clearly what do I know? But um, I at least have worked with enough electronics, uh, especially at the internship I had this past summer to know that um, wrong voltage, very bad. I actually had a, a coworker at my internship get zapped because um, we were working on a, a machine that goes outside and some water got in one little thing and it popped on him. Um, so I definitely, once I got into the voltage tiers in this, I'm going to be very cautious about what I do w with what, because I probably very easily could get myself zapped or uh, worse, just end up ending a run. But yeah. Uh, now comes the chill part where I, I really don't have to stress too much about, um, oh, I am still one wood short. Oops. Hold on. Let me get some more wood. Um, the nice thing now is I can kind of just chill. Like now that I have this and we're in the slow part of progression again, um, we can kind of just chill out for a little bit. And as I progress through stuff, which will be nice. You can give higher tier machinery lower tier cables, but you run the risk of pa of running out of power. Yeah, that makes sense. I assume cables. I assume if anything, cables can probably burn too, right? If you give them, like I know you, there are tiers of what you can run through it, and probably if you run it wrong, you can burn out a cable. And yeah, okay, so you can. I assume that you probably start fires with that or something but i don't know if that affects the machines i i, I doubt it because it, actually maybe i assume with this it probably makes something bad happen but we'll try to avoid that um i don't know where i want to set up last time i just kind of stole someone's house um if you plug an ulv cable into an hv generator it burns yeah okay so that's not too bad. It could be worse. Um, don't need the bed anymore. I need gravel. I guess now that we have the bed, we can just sleep. So we don't really need a house just yet. I'll probably make something soon. But let's just work on getting some quest book progress, I guess, to get us going. Oh, I need to just collect gravel. We'll make a shovel. Gravel shovel. If you want, if you go to Vetus later in the pack without special suit, you instantly die. Yeah, see, if I get to Galacticraft stuff, I'm definitely going to pr try and do some reading before I go to space, because um, I will definitely get myself killed immediately. Otherwise, there are so many things that I could probably have immediately go wrong when I go to space that will just straight up kill me. So. All right. Um, consume two oak log. We can make an ax and do that. Domcraft add-on called Domcraft Horizons has self-revive, but I'm not 100% sure how it interacts with hardcore. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, if I'm going to play hardcore, um, self-revives are cool and all, but I feel like um, if they're in limited quantity, like let's say I can only get like one from an item that takes a ridiculous recipe, that's fine. If it's something I can pretty easily attain, 
Um, I kind of would probably pass on it. Uh, it. It depends where I am in the run. Because, I don't know. If I was doing, like, vanilla Minecraft Hardcore, I feel like Totems of Undying kind of just defeat the point, because you can get so many of them. But I know with modded Minecraft it can be different, so... Oh yeah, single torch. And a full inventory. Um, let's make a chest. To be honest, you should consider playing with Questbook Hardcore, which allows you to get additional lives. Um, is it like an add-on or something? No, you have to enable it. Um, is it just uh, a mod options? Where would I go to enable? Uh, command in chat. I don't think I can do commands uh, without... Um, you get like three lives. Okay. Um, I'll leave it off for now. If I get to a certain point and I feel like I want to add it, I will. But we'll hold off on it for um, the moment. One, two, three. Let me grab my crafting table. I did not detect it. There we go. That's food. Um, I gotta save one of these so I can make an apple tree though. Let's get a sapling. Those are, oh, these are like dying uh, stuff. That's annoying. That's fine. I read that. I know the quests look different. Gravel, dirt, stick. I don't think I get a reward for that though, right? Yeah, just get an extra quest book. We'll leave that for now. Yeah, I need an oak sapling. Uh, I think I have a single oak okay. sapling, right? Yeah, cool. Um, I'm going to take the walnut. Tools, pickaxe. Four. Need one more. Or I need two more. All right. Uh, the bag. We got a little bit of time. Six levers is pretty nice. Already got the chest. Take food. I guess we'll just leave this here for now. We'll just have our little setup here for the moment. I'm gonna move, probably. Maybe I'll just move to the other side of this. But for the moment, just while we're running through some stuff. Uh eight sticks. Well, sun is out already. Time to sleep. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate that. I probably won't do too much more tonight. Um, just because it is getting kind of late on my end. But um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'll get along a little quicker this time. 
but we'll see. Thank you for sticking around. I do appreciate that. You have a good night. Thank you to everyone else. I know quite a few other people in here too. Um, appreciate you guys sticking around and watching me uh, forcing myself to suffer through hardcore Greg Tech. Let's get a war chunk mined. Uh, this is the closest one, so we'll just make ourselves out of the way. Oh, well, I guess I won't be able to because I need charcoal. Whatever, we'll just get this patched away. So we'll just make ourselves a little area for now to work with. I actually don't think this is going to work because stuff is going to start spawning here. And I'm not going to be able to see. So we'll leave this for now. That's fine. We'll get cobblestone from elsewhere for now. I'll get myself um, the 64 cobble just to get us going. And then maybe we'll call it at that for tonight. It's funny. Dying made me feel more motivated to actually make progress now. Like, I feel like ready to get there both faster and do a better job and make a better setup and make it quicker. So, it sucks, but you kind of also love it, you know? Like, it ain't bad. I guess that's the charm in, in it, though. You had to battle it both ways. Not like I can go back to it now. It's gone. I deleted it. So, only thing that's left of it is in my head. You know, it's tough. I'm not, I'm kind of new to trying to stream stuff as well. I figured this would be a good thing to be able to stream and just talk. But I find that I don't really know what to talk about when I do it. Um, so I kind of end up not talking for a while. And I guess, you know, for some that might be more of an appeal, just being able to watch Minecraft gameplay without having someone yapping the whole time but i mean I, I i don't know but i always want to feel like oh you know i want to talk about stuff or you know whatever do something and then i'm like oh well what would i even talk about what is there that i'd even need to say so all of that is to say i was saying all that to be like oh you know maybe i'll come up with something to talk about while i was saying that but i did not so we'll go back to silence for a little bit i guess until i think of something <laughs> there's a furnace Start that now. Okay. Put down some 
potatoes, put down some carrots. I feel like I had something else to plant. I guess not. Bone meal. Put down these put down these bushes for now. This will just make this our temporary setup. something so peaceful just about playing Minecraft. It's nice. It's gonna make me make another soft mallet, yeah. That's okay, we can do that. We got two now. Uh, melons or pumpkins? Let's do, uh, let's do melons. Can I not turn melons into seeds? Oh, with a hammer. Better say I did it last time. Has to be two. There we go. Hmm. We need wool. I already have the bed. Gunpowder. I already read up on the creeper stuff last time. Other than the other ones that don't seem to be able to bother you on this. Modify pigs, make a shield, make a spear. We got the crowbars, so we're going to hold off on those for now. I guess we can kill the pigs. Hoping I can back that up a sapling too. Hopefully one of them doesn't blow up on us. <laughs> and the end it early we'll see okay wow 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 that's crazy <laughs> oh that's okay What's that? Okay. Nope. Ah. I have the worst aim ever. Oh my god. It's gonna get nighttime. To any of you that are left, you did not have to see that. <laughs> Me whiffed that hard. My bad. I have my bed on me. There's probably some pigs over here. Man, it's crazy how much I had gone. Washed away. So 
just like that. And you gotta start over. Oh, we got sugar cane. We'll wander this way and see if we can find some more pigs. Or not pigs, sorry. Sheep. Oh, wow. Oh, it hit me there at the end. Oh, breaking them. Looking for a sheep. I always forget that the quest book asks, asks for that. I forgot last time, too. We'll go back. Probably a better place to find sheep than that area. Oh, you know what? I did grab some cotton. We can start making some cotton plants. We'll do that. <laughs> oh, this is the definition of just one more thing. Uh, I'm so addicted. I have a problem. Uh, let's go find some sheep. Here, let's grab them. Shops. <laughs> Looking for sheep. You know, this area will be perfect probably eventually for when I have to go mining for chunks for different ores. Hopefully we get a little bit more variety. <laughs> it's weird, I keep thinking about like uh, the stuff that I had. And I'm like, oh, you know, that'd be nice. And I'd be like, yeah, that would be nice. But I threw up a boiler. I gotta stop sitting on it. I make it seem like it bothers me more than it does. Uh, I should have marked my base. Crowbar, though. Look, the terrain generation is always so nice. I love the terrain generation that this mod pack has. It's very, it's a very nice change. See a lot of things you wouldn't otherwise see. Oops, I just ate both of those. More sheep. There's gotta be sheep somewhere. Like these mountains are so crazy. I love the way they render too. I think there's a 
claims area over here. Thank goodness I took the bed. That would have sucked if I did. Up until recently, I never really saw the point in building much in Minecraft. Oh, sheep. And then, you know, I started playing more modded stuff. And I realized that the building is such a nice uh, break in between uh, tasks when you're playing. Oh, uh, whatever. That's okay. Because it just clears your mind. I mean, a lot of Minecraft does that. It's a very nice effect of just making things feel peaceful, relaxing. I'm surprised none of those blew up. Okay, we'll leave the rest when we come back. Let's see what else we can do right now. We got the bed. Bones. Got a rocket run. We need some saplings. To do that, we will instead go down to here. Coins. Magical samplings. We'll have to go back and get them. That's okay. Just completed a lot of goals though, so that's pretty nice. Plus we gotta explore a little bit of the area where we're gonna be in now. Honestly, setting up on this plains biome, or uh, there's sure there's a little bit of hills here, but setting up around this area will be pretty nice. There's a lot of Nice little things. A lot of places for mobs to spawn though too. So have to be mindful of where we place it. Oh, wow, that's a big pit. Look at that. See some lapis in there, that'll be good to get later. Oh, we got barley here. Uh, shoot. I don't really have much I want to... I guess I can drop this three sand for this. Good to have. Wheat is always nice. More pigs, more cows, more chickens. The only thing that's not really nearby right now is sheep. Man. <laughs> Especially when that music hits. It's always the best. I do play a lot of other games too. Do play some stuff modded. I'll probably play some other stuff too along the way. Break tech won't be the only thing. It's what I've been streaming because I just kind of used it as an entry level thing. Kind of get me used to it, get me a little more comfortable. But I do like a, a lot of other games too. I've been trying old school RuneScape recently. That's another one that I've been pretty interested in, been playing. Um, that one's been pretty fun. I do. I have been having a good time with that. Uh, it is very grindy though, because well, so <laughs> I guess what does that say about me? You know, and the types of games I enjoy. But oops. Ten explorer, ten a farmer. Only got five explorer and not enough farmer yet. That's okay. Some 
Barley seeds. Um, but yeah, I've been playing old school RuneScape. That's one. I'm gonna. I'll probably. I definitely stream it. But um, I play RimWorld uh, on occasion. I think that should be a DLC coming out sometime it's pretty soon. So I'll probably play that. I don't know. I'll definitely stream it because I always enjoy those. Those are fun to me. Um, there's some other stuff too. I'm sure I'm thinking of. Bag is very much bag is pretty cool. Um, I used to play a lot of Destiny. Destiny was a big one. I've been kind of straying away from it more recently, uh, just because a they're kind of in a drought period right now where there's not much content. I know they got more, but I don't feel like doing the time gated stuff for now. So, I'm gonna work on that. Uh, what else do I play a little bit? Uh, what else have I been playing recently, I guess? Um, let's go RuneScape, and this has really been the big two. Definitely been playing more. I'm, I'm probably tired, and that's why I'm thinking of it. But oh, you know, another one I finished recently was Persona Three, uh, the new one, Persona Three R. That one was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I actually uh, played that in Discord, and Discord, and streamed that to a friend. That was a great time. Because he played it way back and he wanted to see my experience with it. And that was a, a very enjoyable. I enjoyed that a lot. We gotta get some clay. We gotta make another chest. That's what we gotta do. There we go. More chest space. Those are pretty good. I'll take 64 wood screws. Um, Alright. We need clay. So let's start digging. We need so much clay. It's the one thing that slowed me down so much last time. Tired me out. Gathering clay. That's why I like setting up the rivers. I need so much of it. scratching the surface of the amount of clay we're going to need, but that's okay. Get the gravel tube on that. We need sand as well, so we'll get a, a bunch of that. Yeah, I'm thinking I might, um, I have like a, a regular old school RuneScape one that I've been playing, but I'm thinking I might make a second one where, that I'll play on stream, because I haven't bought a membership yet for that, and I feel like if any game's going to get, need to get better at uh, being able to talk and play, it would be 
old school runes get, because that gets pretty, you don't gotta think much. You can just kind of click a few buttons and let it do its thing. I mean, with this, obviously, I wasn't thinking enough, and that's why it blew up. Oh, well, I guess I would have known either way. If I hadn't known that that would happen, I probably would have been able to avoid it. It's okay. Be what it be. Um, oh, you know what else is the other one I've been playing? I knew it was going to be that game. I've been playing uh, Voices of the Void. That one's been pretty fun. It's got that peaceful but um, eerie aspect to it that I just love. Because I'm awful at horror games. So having one that's so not horror-y, but also I know is horror-like, stresses me out like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, I feel like it's good entry-level kind of thing for me at that point. Plus it's nice because it's not jump scares. Jump scares get me so much. <laughs> I jumped at the the boiler exploding. So... <sighs> spot for some more gravel that was in here. Or am I just gonna keep working on this one? I guess I'll keep working on this. Nah, this is gonna be a pain if I keep working on this one. I'll go grab from another spoon. Right here. I think we'll get to the primitive blast furnace a lot quicker this time. I hope. We'll see. There we go. That's the gravel for now. nice, but I think I can get more from the loot bags at this point. That's beneficial to me. Yeah, definitely can. So we'll do that. Got food anyways. Sure, I mean, levers can speak. Grab that sand from over there. <sighs> Forgot how slow this was at the start. We'll get ourselves to better tools pretty quickly though. So, especially now that I know. I spent a lot of time at the start walking too. I spent quite a lot of time walking at the start to find a spot I liked, whereas now I'm just kind of setting up first. It'll take me quite a while to obviously get back to where I was, but that's okay. last time I didn't even know that I could have the time set up, although the position's messed up. I just realized that because I changed the UI. So we'll have to fix that. Ah. I don't feel like clicking all those buttons right now. So we'll save that for later.
Wish I had more to talk about. But, I mean, at the same time, the silence can be nice, too. So, I guess... I gotta be fair to both ways. Not always something that needs to be talked about. That just leaves one more, and that's the stone. It should be good at this point. So we're pretty set up. Boom. I know I said, oh, I'm going to do this, and then I'll wrap up, but... No, we won't just yet keep going. Blood sapling. Oh, that's you. Oh, saplings is so good. That's very nice. I like that. That's saplings I don't have to get later. chests. Throw the saplings in there, and then I'll throw the blocks for now. Just to make it a little easier to manage. Stone. We'll make two, we're gonna do. Or we'll make four. We're definitely going to need more anyways, so. That's one thing I really do need to start doing more of, is I need to make multiple of stuff. Because it's like, I'm going to be using it, without a doubt. So. Clay dust. This is why we made multiple. There you go. I got a bucket. And oak for three cactus. Sure, we can do that. Wood pulp for paper. 
this be used for wood pulp? Let's find out. You can. That's an equivalent amount. Cool. Let's break down some of these dead trees. Perfect amount. There's sixty four wood pulp. We need water. There's so many different types of endermen that I just don't know. It's always so interesting to see them pop up for half a second. It's like, I have no idea what that type of enderman is. Probably kill me in half a second. <laughs> Man, not being able to just leave all the items in there because I don't have a saw yet is... I'm feeling that. I guess I could have made multiple buckets. That would have made more sense. Whatever. I don't know why hearing anyone teleports freak me out more than, um, other stuff, but the sound just makes me jump. I suppose it's because my fight or flight just kicks in, but, oh well. Tinker time. So we need six. 14 sticks. Get some string too. Cotton almost ready. Get. Next area for the farm.
patterns. Just move them all because I'm going to need the pattern, more patterns, anyways. Two fences, we need to chop some more trees. So we can put Flint X, I suppose, for now. Getting Tinker's tools again will be a nice first step towards working towards everything. I'm thinking my plan will be if I find a if I can find a coal patch somewhere over there, um, I'm gonna set up my base right over it and do the same thing. Where I'm probably gonna end up carving it out. Right, so we need. It still has to be logs here. Put eight logs to the side. The rest can get turned into planks. And we just need six. the two fences. We need one more tree. Hello, Mr. Pig. Just done. It's the tool station done. Stencil table done. Now we just need. Oops. To just a little bit of string. Just a little bit more would be good. <laughs> And I guess we'll just put it here for now. We need four plane patterns.
can make the paper ones until we get um, stone. So let's chop into the dead tree. We'll get ourselves our tinker's tools and then we'll wrap her up for today. I definitely think that that'll be the good calling point. Getting back at a point where I can start mining. Or almost mining, because obviously I still need torches. Enough for the force of the pencils we need. And we can get more later if we want. Pickaxe, axe, binding, shovel. Pickaxe, shovel, binding, axe. Flint and a piece of oak. Sticks. Flint pickaxe, flint hatchet, flint shovel. Awesome. Look at that. Definitely a little bit quicker than last time. So it's nice. Two more stencils is great. Yeah. Kill six cows. single-use kind. However, flint above a stick. I can't mind that. <laughs> That's fun. We need a brick. 104. Sand. And 
Joven. My deadline is the next time I sleep in game. Will be when I stop. Time we'll start by smelting all this and getting a coke oven, and we'll be able to get charcoal to get torches. That'll be a pretty damn good start. And I think that will be where we call it. I think this is a pretty good start, or restart. <laughs> uh, we'll get the coke oven next time. And we'll make some torches, go mining. Hopefully we get iron. Uh, I appreciate it to everyone who did stay around till the end. Um, and my, if, on the off chance that this is what you want to watch uh, for some reason. I kind of stream sporadically, so um, I can't really promise a, a schedule or anything, but I'll probably be around uh, randomly during the week and on the weekend, I guess. But uh, thanks again to everyone that is tuning in, and I hope you all have a good night.